never fight. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Jeannie Moore was an original founder of the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. For many years, she served as a certified patient and family support navigator. In that role, she connected with and became an important source of comfort and information for countless patients, survivors, and caregivers. I'm sure many of you. Though Jeannie is now retired and enjoying the California sun, her impact on the Alliance is felt every day. Her selfless ethos and dedication to the mission are qualities every staff member truly aspires to. It's also a quality that many in our volunteer community possess. We are indebted to each and every ally for any service they provide in pursuit of our vision, a world free of colorectal cancer. But there are some allies who really go above and beyond. And it's for these special people that we created the Jeannie Moore Blue Heart Award, which we bestow each year at AllyCon. This is the award's second year. Last year, we honored Kevin Hayes. Kevin was a tireless advocate who fought to increase awareness of this disease until his last moments. Sadly, Kevin passed away on October 18th. Jeannie and Kevin have made such a remarkable impact, it might seem difficult to select another ally to join their ranks. But to the world's benefit, we knew just the person, Louise El Tavari. Louise's son, Greg, was diagnosed with colon cancer in April 2005 at age 34. He passed away at age 37. In the midst of intense grief, Louise decided she had to do something to make sense of her son's suffering, something good. So she became an M-O-M, -M, mom on a mission. Her mission was to raise awareness that you are never too young for colorectal cancer, that it is preventable, treatable, beatable. She would share her powerful story again and again to save lives. If you ever want to see a consummate ally in action, simply watch Weez El Tamari tell her story. She discovered the Colorectal Cancer Alliance and became integral to the success of the Denver Undy Run Walk which was a precursor to today's walk to end colon cancer. In 2014, she helped create its first committee and they've been off to the races since. I love a pun. This past year, her team, Shake a Leg for Greg, raised more than $10,000. But she's also been instrumental in bringing local event sponsors on board with 17 supporting the walk before COVID. Another of Weez's taglines is, too old not to be bold. Weez, is a connector. She leaves advocacy through her whole life, serving on a statewide cancer coalition, doing community events, getting Denver's buildings lit up blue in March, talking to anyone she meets about colorectal cancer. She's creative, entrepreneurial, and a master at building relationships. When the Alliance began doing a national screening initiative, WEES was one of our most thorough, fearless, prolific partnership builders. On top of everything else, Weez is just a lovely, lovable person. That's why everyone wants to work with her and why she is an incredible ally in the mission to end colorectal cancer. We are so proud to call you an ally, Weez, and we are delighted to give you the 2021 Jeannie Moore Blue Heart Award for your incredible service. Congratulations. Thank you, Allie very much for such a nice, warm introduction. On November 2nd, just two weeks ago, I received an email from Nancy Butterfield. I thought, how nice. I haven't heard from her lately. Then I noticed the subject line, honoring you. Say what? I just had to read further. Nancy went on to say, the Colorectal Cancer Alliance really appreciates my 10 years of volunteering with them and for representing the Alliance in the Denver metro area and in the state. So today I am the second rep recipient of the Jeannie Moore Blue Heart Award. I never saw this coming and I'm blown away. As a nation of volunteer allies, we don't expect or need any special recognition. It's not why we do what we do, 
and we already know we're priceless. I know you all will agree with me on that. I met Jeannie Moore at my very first national conference in Phoenix, 2014. Jeannie is admired and loved by everyone who meets her or knows her. 20 years ago, she was one of the founding members of the Colorectal Cancer Alliance and deservedly retired last year. I thought I want to be just like her when I grew up. Wait a minute, I think I'm older than Jeannie. So at 10 years, this M period, O period, M period, mom on a mission, who was too old not to be bold, is very honored to receive this award. Our son Greg is my inspiration in every minute I spend volunteering to end colon cancer is to honor and celebrate him. Greg was diagnosed with colorectal cancer in the spring of 2005 at age 34, way too young. He passed away February 23rd, 2009, way too young, I say again. We learned our family mantra from the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. Colorectal cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable when detected early. Colorectal screening saves lives. To this day, this message is the message I deliver to whoever I can, whenever I can, and wherever I can. I have a powerful story to share and I believe since the spring of 2005, so February 23rd, 2009, our son's cancer journey and our family's cancer journey have thoroughly prepared me for my volunteer and leadership role in Denver. I've met the most amazing people along the way in and through the staff of the Alliance on our walk engagement committee, within our medical community, our survivors or thrivers, as we like to call them in Denver, and many of you at this conference. Thank you so much for this wonderful award. Leva Tawiz to continue to inspire us all with her mere acceptance speech. Congratulations again, Weez. So next up, we have our photo contest winners. This is the first winner, best caption, rock on, metalhead. So nice to see Joy in that picture. This is our champions pick on the next slide here. These little darlings, I believe belong to Jennifer Bass. <laughs> and um, this next picture was most chosen by the attendees. This is Carlene Taylor. I, I'm sure she's here with her son, Connor, who passed. And this next slide, is an honorable mention. I'm not sure Vanessa submitted this picture, but I do think it looks like the uh, day after the Ally Con party is what I think this picture is representing. So this is a good advertisement, I think, for our in-person events. I think you'll have a good time. We have a great time together. So thank you all so much for voting and for submitting photos. Really appreciate the champions who, um, who managed that, that selection process. And um, with that, celebrating these and these other allies is just a terrific way to wrap this year's virtual ally con. So thank you so much for spending this time with us. We hope you not only enjoyed it a lot, but have learned things that will help you through your journey and who knows, maybe help someone else too. You should see a survey in the next couple of days. Please take it. Your voice helps us make the next one even better. Speaking of which, we are planning an in-person event, we hope you've heard, sometime in early 2022. Stay tuned for more information about that. And thank you so much again for being part of this wonderful event and this community. We're wishing you all well and know that we're here for you. Thanks so much again. <laughs>